So today I want to talk to you about doing the oil change yourself on a K1600 BMW motorcycle. The K1600 series, I should say. So some brainiac engineer at BMW decided that one drain plug on the oil pan wasn't enough, that he was going to design another crankcase interior plug on the inside of the oil pan that you had to remove with a five millimeter Allen wrench. And hopefully you didn't knock it off inside the oil pan. So you had to remove the oil pan, replace the gasket, and reinstall the oil pan after retrieving said crankcase plug from the interior of the oil pan. Pretty ridiculous design if you ask me, but hey, maybe they wanted to help out the dealers to keep us from going and doing it ourselves. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to completely remove 100% the stress of actually going in there and removing that drain plug yourself without having to worry about stripping it out with the Allen wrench or knocking it off the Allen wrench as you pull it down through that little tunnel to get it out of the oil pan. So let me show you. So let's talk a little bit about the nomenclature of the oil pan and in the interior crankcase. Uh, if you look at number one, which is the sump, and you have the sump oil plug location, on the interior of that sump oil plug location, there's actually a, a, I don't know, maybe call it a tunnel of some sort. And basically what it is, is it's a raised portion of the interior of the sump plug location so that the sump plug can fully seat threaded into the um, oil pan. Um, once you have the oil sump plug off, then you remove the interior crankcase oil plug with a five millimeter Allen wrench extended at least three inches. You need at least a three inch extension on that. So um, the problem with that is as you bring that crankcase oil plug, that interior plug down through that raised portion of the sump oil plug threads, um, it's fairly easy to knock it off and lose your interior crankcase oil plug on the inside of your oil pan. So um, it's not as easy as you might think throwing a, a flexible magnetic um, device up in there to retrieve the interior plug if you lose it inside your pan, mainly because there's that raised portion that I talked about on the inside of the oil pan. I tried to find a picture of it. I couldn't find a good picture of it uh, on the internet. However, I was able to contact R.L. Limke via email and he was kind enough to send me a picture and so here you go. This is a picture uh, depicting that ridge on the inside of the oil pan and that ridge is what can make it so easy to knock the crankcase interior plug off of your Allen wrench and lose it on the inside of your oil pan. So I want to show you the interior crankcase plug. This is the stock plug and how you would insert a five millimeter extended Allen wrench into it to remove, to remove it from the uh, inside of the oil pan. And this is how easy it would be to knock it off. And there you go. This is the RL Lemke Super Plug and you can see that it looks quite a bit different and you've got a quarter inch socket on the end of it. You snap the quarter inch socket into the drain plug like so. And once you've done that, it's pretty difficult to knock that drain plug off of your quarter inch socket. And there you have it, zero hesitation, no stress, removing it from the inside of your oil pan. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for stopping by. And if you decide to get the super plug, hopefully it works as good for you as it did for me. If you found this informative, 
please slam that subscribe button down there. It would definitely help me out. See you next time. the river I have had the devil's hand felt the weight of my own sin burdened by the heart